judge reached his decision already? Isn't that kind of fast? Yeah, I thought this was uh, going to take a lot longer. So did I. I, I thought you said this was a complicated case. I did, and it is. Well, if it's so complicated, how come the judge came to his decision so quickly? You know, speculation will only create more anxiety as evidenced by my inability to stop considering every possible contingency, thus causing this. Okay, stop that. <laughs> and I will stop speculating, because that's your job. So, uh, did we win or are we doomed? We're about to find out. All rise. Yeah, not a moment too soon. The judge made his decision already? Yeah, he has, and we have yet to hear if that's good or bad news. I have carefully considered the petition of Dante and Leslie Lou Falconeri for permanent legal custody of the biological child of Damien Spinelli and Maximiliana Jones, and I have examined all the evidence presented. The fact that a child was contracted for and promised to them by Miss Jones, the fact that the Falconaries invested financially and emotionally throughout Mrs. Jones' pregnancy, and that they did not discover the child's true biological parentage until after they started to raise her as their own. These are strong points in their favor. No, this cannot be happening. However, in spite of all of this, I'm denying the Falconeri's petition for custody. What did he just say? I'm sorry. No, 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 you, you just said that they, there were persuasive arguments for giving us our child. You said Mr. that we've been Mr. raising Sustain her as our own. I apologize, Your Honor. I'm sure you can understand that my client is extremely overwhelmed. Lulu, I need you to take a seat, all right? This is not... I, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I know what I said, Mrs. Falconeri, and I'm sorry. But the fact remains, this is not your child. That is the basis of my judgment. And it didn't help your case that you lied to this court. Perjury is a serious offense. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was I was desperate. It is the duty of the court to set I'm aside sorry the that I lied. I'm death. sorry. I will do anything to make it up to you. Anything. You can't do this. Connie's mine. She's she's Dante. She's Dante and mine. Please don't take our child away from us. My decision has been made. Wait, Lou. Lou, wait. I am so sorry, Dante. Uh, Alexis, you said it was uh, it was going to be a long shot. So, thank you. You did you did everything you could. Detective Falconeri. Yes, Your Honor. In the matter of surrendering the child to her proper custodians, I... Sorry, you need to... I don't have to do it. Wait, no, I have to go to Falconero. We're not done here. There are other matters... Your Honor, I apologize. I will be sure to pass along any relevant information and instructions. We won, Spinelli. We actually won. At what price? We did what we had to do. I know. And it hurts my heart. Thank you so much, Diane. And, and thank you, Your Honor. Um, so when can we go get our baby? Sit down, Miss Jones. Why? It's over, right? You just need to tell us when we can go get our daughter. Can we get her tonight? I'm sorry, Miss Jones. You won't be picking up the baby. Well, I understand you wanting to let Dante and Lulu have one last night with her, but she belongs to us. No, she doesn't. Diane, what's happening? I wish I knew. Your Honor, my clients are understandably confused. You ruled against the Falconeri's petition. Yes, I did. And if you would all sit, I'll finish my ruling and all questions will be answered. Now, as I stated previously, the best interest of the child is paramount. After listening to the evidence, Miss Jones, I'm not persuaded that it's in this child's best interest to be raised by you. Jones, I believe you entered into the surrogacy agreement with a full heart and the best intentions. I did. However, 
Your actions have been nothing short of appalling from the moment you discovered the, you had miscarried the Falconary's baby up to and including these proceedings. Your Honor, no one is arguing that Ms. Jones' actions have been sterling, least of all Ms. Jones, but is it fair to punish her by taking away her child? I'm not making this decision to punish Maxie Jones for her many lies and deceptions. In fact, I believe, as Mr. Spinelli so eloquently put it, that Ms. Jones never intended to hurt anyone. You're right, I didn't, I swear. But again, I must consider the best interest of the child. Miss Jones showed a flagrant lack of ethical decision-making. She allowed the Falconaries to believe the lie for so long when so much damage could have been avoided if she'd simply told the truth. I don't believe a person demonstrating such a complete lack of judgment is qualified to raise a child. No, you cannot just take my child away from me. You said yourself she's ours. You can't give her away. Your Honor, if I may just have a moment with my client. But I don't understand. If you're not going to give her to Dante and Lulu or us, what is going to happen to the baby? Your Honor, my client, distraught though she may be, has raised an excellent question. What happens to the baby? I am granting parental rights and full custody of the child known as Constanza Louise Falconeri to her biological father, Damien Spinelli. You're not going to give the baby to me, but you're going to give her to Spinelli? Mr. Spinelli was innocent of any deception. In fact, he was as deceived and as manipulated by you as the Falconaries were. He never knew the child he was carrying was his, yet he has behaved gallantly, even expressing empathy for the other side in this matter. Spinelli, do something. Um, Your Honor, if, if I may? You may, Mr. Spinelli. Uh, with, with all due respect, your ruling, though I understand the reasoning behind it, is, is, un, is unfair to Maxie. She's made some mistake some terrible ones, but it, it, the child is as much hers as it is mine. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I have to ask, you should be able to see the baby, right? You're, you're granting her visitation rights? Wait, what? Visitation yes, rights? Your Honor, certainly Ms. Jones will be able to visit the child. No, I'm denying visitation. But Connie needs both of her parents. No, Mr. Spinelli, at the moment, it is not in the best interest of this child to go anywhere near a biological mother. So you're saying... I can't even see my baby, is that it? I'm sure Mr. Spinelli can send you photos. In the meantime, I want you to think about what you've done, Miss Jones. Think about the damage you have inflicted on all, all of the parties involved, including yourself. Your Honor, I have thought of nothing else for months. Miss Jones. At the very least, you have committed fraud by allowing the Falconaries to believe you were carrying their child. You violated the terms of contract you signed by failing to disclose the miscarriage. In addition to the emotional damage, the Falconaries suffered a financial loss by covering the substantial cost of your medical care. Furthermore, it was your stated intent to jeopardize the child's health by failing to disclose the accurate history. These are serious lapses in judgment, and it is the opinion of this court that any contact with you would be detrimental to the child. No, I am not her. detrimental! You will go nowhere near that baby for a period of six months. Six months? Two seconds ago, it was never. Just quit while you're still in the game. If after six months there have been no problems, we will revisit the issue of visitation. Court is adjourned. No, Your Honor, wait, please! They can't do this to me, can they? They can, and they do.